Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is the Temple of Time, and it is uh, the 6th of July. Oh, it's this fucking dragon. I was shitting myself when I first saw this thing playing this game. I was shitting myself. I was like, are you kidding me? That's insane. Like, it was just really amazing to look at. So, I guess I'll equip... Let's, let's try out the boomerang. No, 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 no. I'm going to try and... No, 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 no. I'm going to try and throw that. I can catch it again if I can. No, it's gone now. It's gone. I don't really give a shit. That thing was annoying me because I didn't want to use it at any point in time and it was like, oh... And now I've finally gotten rid of it. I'm actually kind of happy to get rid of it. It's too situational. Can you fucking stop? Like, just, just stop, mate. Where is your head? I feel like these guys can only do this if their head is still hanging around, but stop it. I really do hate these Stalfos. They're so frustrating. There you go. Bye-bye. Anyway, it's part 21 for my Let's Play, and it is the 6th of July, 2018. Can I pick stuff up here? Yeah, I never picked up the ancient pieces here. Ancient screw. Once again, not too sure what they're going to be used for, but whatever. It's good to get these as we are near them. Saves us from having to do it in the future. Alrighty. So here's this little altar here that we can pray to and offer our spirit orbs. There we go. So I'm going to get a stamina vessel. And I will do it a second time once I have uh, received it. Here we go. Of course, if you do choose heart, then you will get a big heart container, but this is a stamina vessel, which is a bit of a different item. It's quite nice to have a lot of stamina. No, 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 no. No. I'm going to get a stamina vessel. Thank fuck they have you confirmed that. Stamina Vessel has indeed been increased. I'm glad they don't make you sit through the whole uh, receiving the Stamina Vessel, uh, I guess, uh, animation. You know, they only make you do it once, and then you're good. Anyway, you can see that my Stamina is looking a little bit healthier now. It's good, it's a lot better to have lots of Stamina, I will mention. Once I get a full ring around my first Stamina Wheel, I will start increasing my health. I'm not sure how far I can increase either of these things, I really have no idea. That's part of having a partially blind Let's Play. For those of you who are wondering why my first parts were actually marked as blind, it's because they were truly blind. But uh, the moment where I stopped referring to them as blind is the moment where I started re-recording the Let's Play. And because I'd already played through about 30 parts worth of the game at that point, it wasn't quite the same as the previous blind Let's Play that I was doing. I didn't really want to drop there, but whatever. Oh, pots. Yay, I'm Link. I can finally destroy pots. I feel at home. Anyway, we're probably going to warp to... Where should we warp to? Maybe that shrine. Oh, we could go to Kakariko Village. Because I think I do want to head in this direction now. I think I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve in Western Occluder, at least for now. And now that we have our increased stamina bar, we are ready to continue our adventure, I suppose. Lizzlefos. <sighs> Just stretching. Don't mind me. I do love the um, the way the Master Sword is drawn there. I just love the shape of the hilt. It's really nice. And I am sort of excited to get the Master Sword, because that's a weapon that's not going to break. And honestly, I just... I love the idea of having weapons that don't break, I'm sorry, I just have no interest in the whole durability system, but I did talk about that in part 13, I think, anyway. Or was it 14? No, 12. It was 12. Was it 12? I said 14 because I was being retarded, I actually meant to say 12, but um, anyway. I think, where's the best way for us to leave? Can we go through the mountains? Because I'd prefer to go through the mountains, you know, it's more fun to mountaineer than fucking go through the roads and all of that. Like, the roads are boring. I don't want the roads. They're, they're, stop, Link, please. I mean, I know, I mean, you're great, Link, but stop. Anyway, this is perfectly fine. I mean, instead of following the road, go through the mountains. It's nicer. Plenty of trees around in this. Oh, is that a fucking shrine? Are you kidding me? Already I've found one. No. What is that? Blue nightshade. No, what is that? 
Should I be scared? These are fairies. That's amazing. So they're actually traditional style fairies here. I don't have a bottle or anything like that, though. So I don't really know how to make use of these. You know what? I'm going to drop this thing. Uh, is there a quick way to drop? No. I have to actually... Uh, hold on. Fuck. Drop. May as well just equip this one. Equip. Thank you. So what... What is this? Examine. Don't I get... This is a great fairy, isn't it? Sweet boy, please listen to my story. Yeah, all right. You are the great fairy. It was once a beautiful spring. Okay. All I need is a hundred rupees. I can help you do great things, boy. You know what? I will give you these rupees. This is actually kind of funny. It's kind of like how churches need money. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. And there is the Great Fairy Spring. We'll see what the Great Fairy looks like. Oh. Oh. I'd forgotten about this. Get to check out her chunky body. I mean, someone's got to be into this. I'm definitely not, but someone's got to be. Man, you have put a lot of effort into your hair. That's insane. That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Alright, well, can you just do something for me? I don't want to look at you that much more than I already have. Enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. What's this? You don't have any clothing I can enhance? Really? Let's take a look just to be sure. Take a look. Let me explain why I cannot enhance your, clo your clothes. Okay. There's some clothing items that can't be enhanced, even with my powers. I can't do anything with that clothing item. Okay, so... To enhance this, okay, so I need... Alright. This is a good way to actually get more defense for certain items. Why can't you enhance... The, oh, it's not that you can't, it's that I don't have the right stuff to do that. So all I need is blue nightshade to enhance that. And blue nightshade is just hanging around here, I think. So I'll try and pick up more of that. I didn't need to see that. So there, I'm already looking at some blue nightshade. I'd better pick these up because they're actually quite useful to me. See, looking at things like that... Makes me realise how important it is to just pick up anything that you find. Just going to pick up lots of blue nightshade here. Because I... Well, you know, who knows what I'll need, Silent Princess. Because I don't know if I can enhance multiple times or not. You probably can. So, what I'm going to do is just pick up all the fucking flowers I can find around here. Because they seem to be useful in actually... Increasing the defence of my current chest piece. Seems like a worthy use of my 100 rupees, to be honest. Oh, that's creepy. Just like one hand comes out like that. Yeah, enhance my clothing. Enhance away. So, we have plenty of blue nightshade this time. Let me do my thing. Uh-oh. So, you breathing on me enhances my clothing. Good to know. That's really fucking lovely. Uh, stealth chest guard with a star on it. Heard about set bonuses, right? Yes. Only if you wear the whole set. Looks like that's not possible right now. Please come back here once you get some clothes or materials, or once you've restored the power of my sisters. See you later. Okay, bye. Thanks for your assistance. So I'm just gonna guess that we can only enhance a piece of clothing once. Which makes sense. But uh, anyway, I guess we'll continue through here. That's the Great Fairy Fountain, which is kind of cool. What's not cool is the fact that the fairy looks like that, <laughs> but whatever. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. So uh, this wasn't quite as mountainous as I was hoping, but whatever. It's not a big deal. It's just a different way to go out into the other area. This thing is trying to charge at me. Like, go away. Seriously, I don't have time for you. How are my weapons going? What have I got? So I've got this really strong one, the eightfold long blade. And I've also got the eightfold regular blade. I've also got the guardian sword. Pretty good weapons for the most part. I'm pretty happy with my current assortment. I'm not going to be breaking them anymore on those uh, those rocks, those ore rocks. Laneru Road. Is it West 
Westgard or Westgate. I didn't see what I was reading there. I didn't see what I was reading. Hello. Y yeah. He has only been looking at me for, a, you know, a fraction of a second, and he's already taken note of my body. I can see what this guy's um, priorities are. The Yiga clan. What's going on with you? I mean, I like your glasses, but you've got these weird wrinkles next to your mouth. I will take your life. Oh, okay. Would have been. I feel like it would have been better for you to. Uh... All right, where are you? Yeah, okay. Really want to kill you, mate. There we go. If I can send you flying, that'd be f absolutely lovely. Of course, because this is two-handed, I can't pull out my shield at any point. I'm just going to avoid whatever you're doing. Where? There we go. Of course, running attacks are really useful with these heavy weapons. I'm sure running attacks are useful no matter what. Oh! Okay. <laughs> whatever, mate. Whatever makes you happy. Fuck me dead. It'll auto-save me just before I fight him, I guess, but we'll see. I guess that because I had discovered something just before I talked to the other guy. I don't think he'll be there anymore, because I think the last time... No, he is there. Alright. What's a good weapon to pull out? Maybe I'll pull out the Eightfold Blade. Or, instead of that, I'll equip the Guardian Sword, just to fucking annihilate him. Hello. <laughs> he looks different now. You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. It's a powerful grave... <laughs> grave. Brave group. I'll take your life. Yeah, well, you do that, mate. So... I'm just glad that I can use my shield now. Ouch. I said ouch even though I didn't get hit. So you can fucking die, mate. Thanks for that. This is why we use strong weapons, you see. Mighty Bananas Radio. Got a blue rupee there as well. Rupees are pretty cool. They just haven't had as strong of a presence in this game compared to other Zelda games, but when they do appear, it's kind of nice. Anyway. R.I.P. <laughs> anyway. I'm not sure which way I should go. I don't have a map yet. I guess I should just head in this direction to try and prioritise. Uh, picking up... What the fuck is that? Vicious Sickle. Well, I almost missed that. So we're just blending in with the grass, but anyway. So, uh, I do want to prioritise getting the tower. Is it the Sheikah Tower or Celestial Tower, something like that? Uh, let's have a look. It's just, you know, the tower that's in the area, I guess. Dueling Peaks Tower. We'll call it a Sheikah Tower, because you need the Sheikah Slate to actually activate it, so it's probably a safe term to use. Uh, how are we going for time? How are we going for time? Uh, we're going all right. I've got another six minutes or so until I'll actually want to end the video, I think. So, I don't really know if this is a good spot to be. I do vaguely remember this area. I feel like it's not the best place to be if I want to... Uh... No, this isn't good. All right, I pulled out my shield in time, fortunately. Oh my god. <laughs> Please send them both flying, thank you. Um... Yeah, I feel like this isn't the best area for me to be if I want to get to the uh, tower as soon as possible, but, you know, that's life, isn't it? Uh, I'll have this rush room, that seems good. Just going to send you flying, mate. I have to be careful of you. See, when he doesn't have a weapon, he's pretty, pretty weak. Because he used his fist there to attack me. And it didn't work too well in his favour. He only did about half my health. Alright, we'll pick up that Bokoblin stuff and this Bokoblin stuff. We got some guts there, which is quite useful. Will that be... this will be in... Uh, materials, I guess. Where are they? So... oh, I have actually picked up some guts before. Not that I was aware of it. Um, well, my iron sledgehammer is going to last a while longer, so I'm not going to drop it in favour of that... Boko Club. Let's continue along through here. Where are we going? We might actually get to the... get to the tower pretty soon. I can't remember exactly where it is, but anyway. Is that... oh, it's just a blue guy. Oh my god. You're a bit rude, mate. So what I'm gonna do is maybe shield your stuff. Yep, that's a good opportunity to hit you. 
going to heal myself again. So I'm being a bit silly with my, my play, I think. Alright, you can stop. I'm completely off target. I'll try to shield you. My spiked Boko shield is badly damaged. I'll pick this up. I bet this does some decent damage. No, it does not. I can't even pick it up anyway. I keep forgetting. Alright, I'll open this chest. Why not? What have we got? Shock arrow times ten. More arrows to use if we run out of the regular ones. That's cool. Got a shrine nearby. That one's behind the waterfall. I remember that. Yep. Strange that I remember that, but <laughs> yeah. I have indeed been here before. And the shrine is behind the waterfall. So we don't have... Basically, we can get a leaf that creates wind to actually blow these things around. Oh, these guys are really fucking annoying. So... Oh, I guess I'll throw this and then detonate it. There you go. That's that's kind of fun. Uh, I actually want to pull out my bow here and, and shoot you. No, I can't fucking see anything because this thing in my way. Ouch. So let's uh, pick up your shit before I lose it. Going to eat these apples. Alrighty. So I'm going to pull out my bow again. There we go. If I can hit you in the face, it'll be pretty good. It seems that even hitting you in the face isn't doing too much damage. I'm going to swim over here, pick up your stuff. See, once again, Lizalfo's talent, that's pretty good. That's what I lost before. I remember it disappeared for some reason into the water when I was fighting the Lizalfo's before. But anyway, yeah, you can see how good it is to have stamina. I can swim with, with much less of a care. I don't have to worry about dying quite so much. Oh, God, my aim is quite awful. I'm pretty sure that there is a pretty big damage reduction if you shoot from too far away. So I'd like to get a bit closer to this guy if I can. going to dash a little bit. Pick up the Lizalfo stuff. Talon, Horn, Talon. Very nice. What's that? Just an arrow in the water. I'll take it. I will not complain. Come on. Shit! Just trying to climb the thing. Please. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna no. Keep trying to aim before I shoot, but once again the, the shooting and the aiming are one and the same. <laughs> he fell in the water, that was quite funny. Alright. So we'll go pick up your stuff. Oh that's a spiked boker club. That guy must have killed a, a boker blin and just decided to uh, steal the weapon. Anyway. Gonna shoot you. Once again, just using the standard arrows here, because I think we have plenty of other arrows to shoot as well, but it's better to just use these ones. They're probably pretty cheap to buy as well, if I were interested in doing that. Once again, having all of this stamina is very, very useful. I think I'm selling it pretty well by making it quite clear that I can swim such a great distance without worrying too much. It's very good. I like it. So, I don't know if there are places that I can... Stop. Like, as in, get out of the water over here. Maybe there's, like, a a shallow part over this way. I'm not too sure. Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay. Well, I'll go over here. And so maybe... I oh, I can climb the wall, can't I? Let's try that. This is going to take some time, I think. See if I can make it. I hope I can. There's no guarantee of this, though. Alright, I'm going to speed this up. Wish me luck, guys. Alrighty. So, we've got the shrine over that way. I was facing in that direction, which... Oh, never mind. I guess because I was moving in this direction, it, it had me do that. Anyway. Alrighty. So, if we head in here, it's actually not behind the waterfall, is it? It technically is, but <laughs> we don't actually have to pass through the waterfall itself to reach this area. So, I'm going to end the video here. I'm not actually going to uh, take on the shrine at this point. I'm going to drop this bomb and detonate it. Uh, okay. A few things got sent flying, but that's alright. We can keep track of them. That is an opal. 
A lot more important than Flint. It is actually directly behind the waterfall, it's just that we don't pass through the waterfall to get up here. You probably would be able to get up through here if you pass through the waterfall, it would just kind of suck. You'd need a lot of stamina as well. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, this is the last video that I am recording for today. It is the 20... no. It's the 21st part, but it is the 6th of July 2018 as I'm recording this. I will see you guys in the next part of the video, which... of the video... of the Let's Play, which will of course be part uh, 22. Getting through the videos nice and quickly here, which is nice. Can drop this here as well. Detonate that. And that got sent flying, whatever the fuck that was. Where is it? Hey, that was something shiny, and I can't... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Excellent. Anyway, I will indeed see you guys in the next part, which will be part 22. But for now, I will bid you farewell. Bye-bye.